to all members of the University of Nairobi community, ladies and gentlemen, receive my salutations. As a university, we have not been spared the fagaries of COVID-19 pandemic. I call upon both members of staff and the students to continue observing all the protocols issued by government from time to time. In particular, I want to urge all students in campus to strictly observe the COVID-19 protocols. Let's wear face masks, let's wash our hearts, and let's keep social distance to keep this virus away. Your health is the most important resource at your disposal. Please be safe. We shall continue to conduct most of our activities using the virtual platforms that we embraced from the beginning of this year. We have continued to excel in the use of technology. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely delighted to note for the first time at the University of Nairobi, we have successfully been able to conduct students' elections electronically. The students have done the University of Nairobi very, very proud. They have conducted themselves with a lot of dignity. This, ladies and gentlemen, is another milestone for the university. The following were elected to serve the students as the officials of the student council. Chairperson, Eddie Mwenda Mutua. Vice Chairperson, Kaaria Kagwira Dokas. Secretary General, Nathan Kiprangat. Treasurer, Georgina Jerry Girthua, International Students Representative, Vincent Kretus Wiso, Special Needs Representative, Wawela Janet Wachila, Sports and Social Welfare Students Representative, Tony Johnson Odido. I would like to congratulate all those who are elected in different positions of leadership and wish them well as they serve. I and the management will work closely with you to address the academic as well as the welfare needs of the students. We are united by the philosophy of excellence in service. Leadership calls for sacrifice. You have a huge responsibility to inspire your fellow comrades to live to the values and the aspirations of this great university. I wish to thank all the members of the Independent Electoral Commission under the able chairmanship of Professor Mohamed Jama for their excellent performance. The members of staff in ICT Center under their director, Mr. Paul Kariuki, for ensuring the integrity of the system and Dr. Jared Ogaro for the designing and developing the online platform for conducting the elections. I am grateful to all members of staff who contributed in any special way to ensure that the elections were successful. Ladies and gentlemen, our members of staff have continued to excel both in research and community service. Last week, during the State of the Nations Address at Parliament, Professor Mwangi Ilive and Dr. James Mishila received a special mention from the Speaker for facilitating the translation of the English fashion of the studying orders to Kiswahili. This is going to assist parliaments toward the use of Kiswahili in its proceedings. We are proud of our scholars. This is the true spirit of the University of Nairobi. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you are aware that our UN at 50 celebrations are still ongoing. I want to thank various institutes and schools for organizing high-caliber high webinars where we have had the opportunity to engage distinguished scholars and leaders from across the globe. I thank all the partners who found it worthy to celebrate with us. We have lined a number of activities that will culminate in the UN at 50 celebrations on 10th December 2020 in the afternoon. The commemoration gives us the opportunity to celebrate alumni and stakeholders whose support is the source of our strength. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we, are shed, we have scheduled to hold our 64th graduation ceremony on 11th of December 2020. Graduation is a celebration of success of teamwork. I thank the faculty, the students, for making this possible. Those who intend to graduate should clear all their outstanding fees and confirm the order of their names online with their respective, with their respective deans as well as directors. Thank you and God bless you.